When we consider the origins of the coronary arteries, the normal configuration is that the right coronary artery arises from the right coronary cusp, whilst the left main stem arises from the left coronary cusp and then bifurcates into two separate arteries, the left anterior descending artery and also the left circumflex artery. The left main stem itself may adopt two main configurations. In left main stem bifurcation anatomy, the left main stem separates into the left anterior descending artery and also the left circumflex artery. In left main stem trifurcation anatomy, the left main stem separates into the left anterior descending artery along with a left circumflex artery, but in addition, there is a further branch which is called either the ramus branch or the intermediate branch. This third branch normally follows a path in between the left anterior descending artery and also the left circumflex artery. In this clip, are you able to spot the trifurcation anatomy of the left main stem? When we describe the coronary arteries, a term that is commonly used is one called coronary dominance, and this can be an unnecessary source of confusion. Dominance of the right or left circumflex artery refers to the artery which gives off the posterior descending artery that supplies the inferior part of the heart. A patient is said to have right coronary dominance if this arises from the right coronary artery, and left coronary dominance if this arises from the left circumflex artery. Let us look at this concept a little bit more. Here we can see that the patient has right coronary dominance. The PDA that supplies the inferior aspect of the heart is supplied by the right coronary artery. It is worthwhile noting that up to 85% of hearts are right-sided dominant, and in these cases, the left circumflex artery is usually smaller. Here we can see that the patient has left coronary dominance, where the PDA supplying the inferior part of the heart is supplied by the left circumflex artery. A smaller proportion of patients have left-sided coronary dominance, and when present, the right coronary artery is usually a small vessel. In clinical practice, the presence of coronary dominance is something to include in your reports, but is not usually something that is clinically relevant. This is an example of right coronary dominance. Can you see that the PDA arises from the right coronary artery? This is an example of left coronary dominance. Can you see that the PDA arises from the left circumflex artery? When issuing your CT reports, it is good practice to mention whether your patient has a right or left-sided coronary dominant circulation. So I hope you liked this video. Absolutely make sure to check out the course this video was taken from and to register for a free trial account which will give you access to selected chapters of the course. If you want to learn how MetMastery can help you become a great clinician, make sure to watch the About MetMastery video. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.